In this video, I'll show you the basics on how to use SVG symbols on your website. There are two main parts of SVG symbols, defining the symbol and rendering the symbol on your page. I'm going to start at the beginning with our favorite icon tool, Nucleo. They've got tons of great icons in various sizes and types. I've put two icons in my favorites folder for this demo. I'll select both of them and export them as SVG symbols. Then I'll just open up the SVG in Visual Studio. I'll just format this real quick. And you can see that there's two symbols here, one for the trash and one for the edit icon. Now I'll just copy these out and paste it onto my website. And you're not going to see anything showing up yet because we're not referencing it anywhere. Now to do that, all we have to do is add a quick line of code, SVG use, and then the name of the symbol. Now, if this was a external file, we just have to put the file in front of it like that. But in our case, it's inlined up at the top. Now we can add in one for the edit icon, and I can add in as many as I want. There are lots of pros to using SVG symbols. First, it allows you to combine multiple SVGs into one, which can reduce website bandwidth by having less network requests. Also, it allows for browser caching, just as if you were loading the SVG with an image tag. ID conflicts aren't a problem here like they were when inlining the SVG. SVG symbols are especially great for icons, especially when there might be multiple cases of that icon on the same page. As for cons, there aren't too many. You won't really be able to use JavaScript with them, but that's usually not what you want to do with icons anyway. CSS is very doable, but a little bit trickier than when you just inline them. We'll go over styling SVG symbols with CSS in a future video. There's one other technique to go over, and that's loading the SVG with JavaScript. We'll go over that in the next episode.